What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadskin. I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and this video has definitely been in the works for a while now. This has actually been complete for a long time. I just never got around to making the commentary for it but it is the return of the Legend Concept videos and in today's video we're going to be covering a brand new 6 star plus super evolution unit. Uh, now this specific banner as you're seeing on screen right now I tweeted this out quite a while back and a lot of people went crazy thinking it was real, but no, I did make this concept for a 6 plus Doflamingo. So in this video, I'm going to be going over this concept and why I believe this unit, you know, needs this concept and how this specific super evolution, if it were to be a real thing, how it would affect the meta of One Piece Treasure Cruise. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Seeing you are cutsty, so so I'd like to introduce you guys to my concept of Legend Doflamingo. So this guy right here is obviously a 6 star plus character and he is a quick driven cerebral character. So in my opinion, I don't think he needs to be changed in his classes or his typing whatsoever. I think it's quite perfectly fine as it is. But uh, let's talk about his stats. So he goes up to 3000 HP, 1600 attack, 405 recovery. Uh, I believe I made his recovery the exact same and slightly buffed his attack and HP stats, which with all super evolutions, it's bound to happen. Uh, and his combo stays as a four hit unit. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the nitty gritty of this character, which is obviously the most important part of a six star plus character or any legend character, which is their captain and special ability. So. With my concept of Legend Doflamingo, Captain Ability boosts the attack of driven characters by three times. Unconditional three times attack boost. If there can be a quick striker law in the game that's an un unconditional three times attack boost for his class, then I believe that there should be one for the driven class, which is one of the weak classes in the game. So, uh, unconditional three times attack boost to driven characters. Then, if a driven character with a matching orb hits a perfect, that orb is kept for the following turn. So, this is very reminiscent of the sailor ability of the quick rare recruit Beppo and also the strength rare recruit time skip chopper where if that unit has a matching orb and they hit a perfect that orb is kept for that following turn now i think that's a really cool concept and the fact that doflamingo in i think every iteration of doflamingo in treasure cruise has always revolved around orbs in some way or another um so i like the ability of doflamingo having this integrated in his captain ability where if a driven character hits uh, a perfect with their matching orb they can keep that for the following turn and that's really really awesome uh it means that doflamingo teams are going to be constantly getting so much attack boost um as you are going to be getting so many matching orbs and then you can keep those matching orbs constantly dealing damage meaning that uh you know on one burst turn you can go ahead and have a full board of matching orbs and if you hit all perfects you're going to have a full board of matching orbs for that following turn as well so i think it's a really really cool captain ability and i think that if this would happen a lot of people would start using this guy as a driven lead because that's a very very good captain ability now let's talk about his special ability, which it, it, it maxes at 15 turns, which is the exact same as his, as his regular um, 6 star form. But what it does is it changes adjacent orbs, block orbs as well, and his own orb into matching orbs, and then amplifies orb effects by 2.25 for driven characters only, and then 2 times orb effects to all other characters. So this is really actually reminiscent again of the Quick Striker lore. He is a 2.25 orb booster for his specific class but with the six star do flamingo he's a rainbow orb boost at the end of the day so i did want to keep aspects of that so he's very very good for driven teams but you can still use this guy on other teams in a very very effective manner still changing adjacent orbs into matching but then on top of that he will also change block orbs into matching as well which is definitely one of the big downsides that do flamingo has always had is the fact that yes very good subunit very powerful special ability but block orbs are still hindering this character. So I think that if he changed that, that would be awesome. And then on top of that, he also gives himself a matching orb just to add one extra orb um, added to his special ability, which is very, very nice. Um, now, driven teams are lacking a lot in One Piece Treasure Cruise, as a lot of people have started to notice that driven teams do definitely need a boost in some way or another sometime soon. They are very, very lacking in, in damage output, in, in a very good captain. So I think that this 6 plus Doflamingo would hopefully fill that spot 
for a great captain and a great special ability. Um, now, with his special ability being a 2.25 times orb boost to his specific class, that's going to be very, very powerful because Driven still lack a very solid 2 times attack booster. So having a 2.25 orb booster kind of makes up for the fact they don't have a very good type booster at the moment. So uh, that's kind of my theory behind him having such a high orb boost for his class is just because they don't have a 2 times type boost. So why not just increase their orb boost a little bit more? Kind of to balance it out just a little bit. And that's the whole theory behind that. But I think overall, this is a reasonably good buff to a 6-star Doflamingo. It makes Driven teams a lot more powerful, gives them a lot more damage output, and also makes Doflamingo a much more stable captain, because that has definitely been one of the big things with Doflamingo ever since his release. A lot of people like this character, and he's a very good captain, but it's just the fact that, you know, if you don't hit perfect, you literally lose all of your attack boost. So... I think that making him unconditional is completely fair, and also making it so that you're going to be keeping all those matching orbs is uh, actually a really nice ability, and no other unit in the game has had that kind of ability for their captain effect. Um, so I think that that'd be a really, really nice touch just to give you all those matching orbs, as I said. Um, but overall, I think it's a very, very good 6-star plus. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this little concept video as well. I do have a couple more concepts planned. A lot more 6-star pluses uh, actually planned rather than new legend concepts. I do like making the 6-star plus units a lot more than the, uh, than the actual legend concepts, in my personal opinion. Just because uh, you already get something to work off of, and you kind of are just filling in the blanks, I guess, with the original six-star characters and how you think buffing them would improve them and, you know, would overall make them really strong in the meta. Uh, I think that Doflamingo also deserves a limit break sometime in the future as well. If he were to get a limit break, he would definitely get an additional socket spot, which is actually really, really awesome. Could you imagine Doflamingo with five sockets? I think that'd be kind of crazy, but I do think that he does deserve a limit break as well. Uh, with a limit break, obviously comes with extra stats in HP, recovery, and attack. So once again, he's going to be having massive amounts of attack, which is nice to see. And as for the other limit break abilities, I don't really know what this guy could get. Maybe Enrage, I would imagine just because of Doe Flamingo's character, he'd probably get the Enrage ability. Um, hmm, what else would he get? I don't even know. Maybe, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> Slot Bind Reduction would be awesome for Doe Flamingo because if you activate his special and you have Slot Bind Reduction on himself, then he himself is still going to get a matching orb with this concept because he changes adjacent block and his own orb into matching. So if he has Slot Bind Reduction as a limit break ability, he himself could get a matching orb with 2.25 times or boosts, and I think that'd be really, really strong. Um, so yeah, definitely slot bomb reduction and enrage. As for the last one, it could li literally be anything, but uh, I do think that that would be a really nice uh, touch to a limit breaking legend Doflamingo six star plus. So that is going to end this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button down below as these videos do take quite a long time to actually put together. Uh, remember that this artwork is all available on the uh, Google Drive and a specific Facebook page uh, of the One Piece Adventure Log game. If you guys want to go check out uh, some of the artwork from this game, then the links to that will be in the description down below. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video. Video.